what's up guys 915 man here doing a video today i picked up a little bit of goodies this can be a short video but i just wanted to show you uh, some aquamax filter socks i typically do not like using filter socks but you know what these things work uh all the water goes through them they collect a lot of dirt collect a lot of debris loose food and uh you know what i bought a couple um i only bought four see how i like them and you know what these are some good quality ones these are 200 micron they had the uh like cotton kind like this and they also had some mesh kind i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy the mesh kind later on see the difference between the mesh and the cotton uh they said the mesh doesn't clean as much as far as the reviews go but uh, i've only had cotton and uh, these things work really good i do have a reactor that i stuffed um that filter floss in uh, it didn't work but uh, you know what this is going to be free it's going to be gravity fed I'm not going to have to worry about it you do need to change out your filter socks at least the maximum I do is four any anything after four days um, your filter sock is just going to overflow due to the, all the uh, particulate that it had uh, catched trust me I've had uh, filter socks overflow on me quite a bit of times uh, ended up coming out of the sump and all over the uh, floor. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this pad that I have, is a carbon pad. I used the pad so I wouldn't have so much salt creep. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this filter stock. It does come with a little tag on the filter stock. Make sure to go ahead and tear it, pull it off, and you'll be good to go. Also, I wanna say, I did rinse off my socks. I didn't rinse off this sock, but after I installed this sock onto this tank, I uh, rinsed off the socks with regular tap water and just let it sun dry. After you're done, you can rinse them off in the uh, washer machine. I know I've used bleach before in the past. I've heard people tell me to use peroxide. That peroxide does a better job at cleaning uh, than uh, bleach. I myself haven't tried it yet. I really don't like using bleach. Um, I know you can do bleach because um, I've done it before. But like I said, I really don't like to do it just because of the corals. I don't know how they're really going to react. Of course, you're going to rinse them off really, really good. But uh, I'm just going to try to go ahead and keep it natural and use uh, regular tap water to clean my filter socks. After a good four solid days of use, both drains going into one of these Aquamax filter socks, um, it was time to clean it. And you can see all the nasty stuff that was in there. All the dirt, I had uh, some bubble algae because I was cleaning out my overflow. I didn't have to worry about it because my overflow uh, went straight to my socks and my socks picked them up. Uh, cleaned up real good and now it's time to clean these bad boys. Like I said, I use the regular tap water connected to my water hose with a nozzle. Go ahead and blast this sand off of here. Sand, dirt, algae, all kinds of crap. No chemicals, just a good old fashioned water hose and the nozzle clean it out real good and I'm good to go for the next one. Let it sun dry and I'm good to go. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Like and subscribe and you guys take care.